if we're being real, we are back with some playoff talk. We are talking about the AFC today. Let's get into it. Awesome. All right. We just came out recently with our NFC picks of who we trust today. We got the NFC, who we trust in the dang play. AFC, who we trust in the dang play. It's been a long week, man. Don't even get me started. (laughs) AFC, who we trust in the playoffs. Starting off with, of course, number seven, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who somehow got into the playoffs. (laughs) All right, I feel like this is going to be a quick one. You know how we did the NFC? We had the 49ers, we trust them. We had the Rams. We actually trust them more than we trust anybody else in the dang playoffs in the NFC because, you know, like, they're all bleh. And if you didn't hear our last video and want to hear why, we'll put it down in the comments. So click on there right now and go check it out. Actually, watch the rest of this video. Then go check it out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, Steelers. Don't trust them worth the gosh darn toot and nothing. Nope. Moving on. All Miami. Right. You trust Miami? I trust them to lose every game to a good team that they can. That sounds like a good plan. They've you been doing it the rest of the year. Who is a good team? The Cowboys. You know what that means? The Cowboys aren't a good team. All right, anyway, back to the AFC. Ain't trust no stinking dolphin. Bro, I think I kind of trust the Browns. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. You can't. It's impossible. I think I kind of trust the Browns. It's Cleveland. This is like their defense <clears throat> is pretty dang good. Joe Flacco, like he's one of the better quarterbacks in the dang playoffs, man. Oh. How do I trust Joe Flacco more than I trust almost any other quarterback in the playoffs this year? It, I really don't want to agree with you because it's the Browns. You're kind of right. <laughs> like they've been playing some dang good football. The offense looks pretty good with Flacco. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to force we'll come, us to let's say come, it yet. Let's come back to them. Yeah, I'm not going to force us to say it yet. Let's move forward here. Number four, the Houston Texans. Here's my thing. I trust the quarterback. I trust they might be able to win a game. I don't trust them to be able to compete for a Super Bowl. I agree with you. I actually really like their team. They are fun to watch. C.J. Stroud is a stud. I don't know where I was going with that. C.J. Stroud is a stud. Dude, he's one of my favorite quarterbacks. Like, I really I enjoy watching yeah, them yeah. play. But I agree with you. I think yeah. they can win a playoff game. I don't think they're contenders to actually win. I if don't the think Bengals do, yeah. if the Bengals were in here, though, I will. they would be one of the teams I trusted. Joe <laughs> Unless Burrow. Unless it's but, the first three games. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> CJ Stroud, though, he's one of my favorite quarterbacks. I think he's my second favorite quarterback in the league. No joke. Behind who? Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, all right. Yeah. And uh, next year, Tom Brady is going to be number one. You keep dreaming. Bro, I'm telling you, Bill Belichick is going to be like, all right, Robert Kraft, let me just come back for one more year. We'll get the crew back together. We'll bring back Tom Brady. It'll be like the last dance all over again yeah. just in the football. Edelman, get Gronk cooking, coming could back, you, man. Could you imagine? Josh McDaniels comes back as the offensive coordinator, just go out with one big bang. The rest of the NFL is kind of trash, you Here's know? The wildest thing is I think they could win. If they legitimately, <laughs> even yeah. at their age, <laughs> I, I know, I know. Isn't that crazy? Look at the rest of the league. They are mediocre. And the Patriots defense was actually pretty dang solid. If you actually have like committed Brady, committed Gronk, committed Edelman, you come back. Yeah. It's not going to look great in the regular season, but guess what? Playoffs, they're going to be doing it. Anyway, All right. We got to move on. Reality. That ain't happening. So back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Number three, the Kansas City Chiefs. Do you trust the Chiefs? If you asked me that at the beginning of the season, I would obviously say yes. They're one of the better teams. If you ask me that now, which you quite literally just did, I'm going to say no. I really don't trust them. I think the play of Patrick Mahomes is catching up with him and his ability to throw the ball accurately under pressure and not just chuck the ball randomly and hope some guys catch it is starting to catch up with him. Yeah. And I think that's going to be their downfall this season. And they don't have weapons. No. It's come down to this. I've been saying it for a while now. I don't trust the Chiefs worth a darn. He doesn't have good wide receivers. Travis Kelsey is getting caught up with Taylor Swift. He hasn't been looking as good. He looks old. Patrick Mahomes starting to kind of look old too. And he's not really a good pocket quarterback. He's more of an improviser. And when you don't have wide receivers that can do stuff with it, it's not going to be good. I don't trust the Chiefs, man. I don't trust the Chiefs at all. I don't think Andy Reid is as good of a coach as everybody says he is. I think the offense coordinator that they had, Eric Bieniemy, was a huge part of why they were doing good for the first couple of years with Patrick Mahomes. He's not there now. Now you got Matt Nagy. Like, come on. 
I don't trust the Chiefs at all. I trust the dang Texans more than I trust the Chiefs. So right now, are you trusting the Browns the most so far before we get to the last two teams? Before we get to the last two teams, yes. All right. I trust the Browns the most. Let's talk about the Bills. I don't really trust the Bills that much, man. Are you kidding me? They had such a bad streak going this season. Yeah, and then they, they started picking up just a hair, just a hair with the new offense coordinator change, but now they came back down to not really looking amazing. They quite literally just came back, started doing better, gave everybody hope in Bills Nation, and then crapped all over it and went back to playing bad. They still somehow beat the dang Dolphins, too, which tells you how bad the Dolphins are. <laughs> that just reinforces we can't trust the Dolphins. <laughs> okay. All right. So I don't really trust the Bills. I trust the Browns more than I trust the Bills. Oh, man. I want – I okay. The Bills are a much better team than the Browns. No. You disagree. You think the Browns are better and you trust them more. The only reason – I'm talking on paper. I'm saying yes. on paper. On paper, the Browns are a much better team. The only reason why the Bills might be a better team on paper is because of Josh Allen. But also, that's why you can't trust the Bills. Tell me I'm wrong. It's the Josh Allen effect. I want to trust them more. But he, they literally, so in the, in the broadcast when they were playing the Dolphins, they literally talked about how he's like Brett Favre, which is great and all, but guess dang, what? Bang, win Brett nothing, Favre then. is trash, man. He's not trash. Don't get me wrong. Right. When you compare people to the guy that I like, the, the guy for my team, Tom Brady, everyone's dang trash. But guess what? You only won one Super Bowl. Brett Favre isn't the guy you're supposed to be looking up to. Brett Favre is the guy who, like, is a reason why you didn't win all the time because he messed it up. Am I wrong? I think we're getting off track here, son. Because everybody's going to be commenting about Brett Favre now. <laughs> okay, but that's what's wrong with the, the Bills. He's like Brett Favre, and that's why the Bills will never do anything. Because Josh Allen is just like a quarterback who never won anything. Dang. Well, he did win. Again, he won a Super Bowl. But look. Brett Favre, for as good as everybody considers him to be, should have won at least one more Super Bowl. Yeah. No, I I, I agree with you. Okay. I agree with that. I think you're a little harsh on it, but I agree with you. <laughs> and the Bills team isn't as good as the Browns. Browns team defense better. As... Browns defense is hands down better. Browns defense is hand downs, hands down better. Browns offensive coordinator is hands down better than the Bills offensive coordinator. I mean, they had to switch offense coordinators, and now, again... They're kind of coming back down to earth of not looking super great. All right, let's go to the last team, the Baltimore Ravens in the one seed. Here's the thing, because I'll start with this. I know you're going to be torn with this. I trust the Ravens the most because the NFL has picked them to win the Super Bowl. Okay, that was a PR press <laughs> thing. Like, that, you're playing it safe. That, get out of here with that nonsense. I caught right on to that. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think out of all of the teams, they are going to do the best in the playoffs in the AFC. Do I trust them the most? Absolutely not. I do think they will do the best, though. I really don't think Lamar Jackson is having that great of a year that everyone is saying, and I don't think the team is as good as everybody is saying they are. I think there are a lot of hype around them. With that being said, they are the number one team, and I do think they're probably going to do the best in the AFC. So I guess I have to say I trust them the most as well as that the NFL wants them to actually win the whole thing. So I'm kind of with you on that one. But am I wrong on that? Like, they're going to do good. But I also yeah, don't think I'm they're so, a good team. I'm so torn, dude. I can't in my right mind say I trust the Browns the most. But I also can't say that I think I trust the Ravens more than I trust the Browns. Again, with the whole rigging aspect that might potentially be going on, I'm just saying, like, you know. I personally am not a Lamar Jackson truster. Everybody's saying, wow, they whooped the 49ers. The 49ers shot themselves in the dang foot so many times in that game. That game was a lot closer than the end score said, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree, but the 49ers shot themselves in the foot. And I don't know, man. I really don't trust the Ravens. Are you Okay, we're doing this. Let's take trust out of it. Let's tr take everything else away. Mm -hmm. Who do you think takes the AFC? I would have to go with the Ravens. That's my pick, and that's why I'm saying Ravens I trust the most. But it's also never the one seed in the one seed. 
and it's literally the 49ers Ravens, but they're also the team colors on the Super Bowl logo. It's going to be a wild one. There's going to be some upsets coming, definitely, because like we just talked about, and we also talked about this in the NFC, we don't trust nearly any of the teams. This oh. is going to be a crapshoot of a playoffs, which might make it very entertaining. It's also going to make it very sucky because we might get a couple of crap teams moving forward. So we'll see what happens. Any last thoughts? Uh, one, we have to do who do we trust one to four. But two, remember when you said I was wrong when I said I don't trust any of the teams? I don't think any of the teams are good in the NFL. Am I wrong? It absolutely came true. Yeah. You were saying it early. I was not agreeing with you at the time. I don't trust like any of the teams in the NFL. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's let's get on to the top okay. one to four real quick. Ravens one for me. Same. Who's your number two? Oh, don't want to say the Browns. I can't. I'm I'm gonna change it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna change it up just so we don't go the same. I'm gonna pick the Bills. I'm going Browns. <laughs> I'll go Browns three. I'm going Bills three. And I'm going Chiefs four. I'm going Texans four. Interesting. Yeah. I had a feeling you were. Yeah. And it might be more just because you want to over everything. But I know I don't. I don't trust the Chiefs. I, I don't either. Don't trust the Chiefs. I like in a one game scenario, I trust the Texans to be able to win a one game scenario more than I trust the Chiefs to win a one game. The cool thing about that is I think the Texans are going to have the mindset of we really got to win this game and going to give it all their effort. Where the Chiefs are like, eh, this is kind of a walkthrough. Let's just get to the Super Bowl and move on. Yeah, I think uh, that's an interesting point. I think they're going to be like. We don't really have much to lose. Nobody expects us to do anything, but that's also why they might actually go and win because they're going to have less pressure than the Chiefs. Anyway, send us out of here. All right, that's it for today. Remember to give us your comments down below of what you think of everything that we said. Do not comment about Brett Favre. We did not talk about that, nor did we talk about Brady's comeback. But remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Until next time, keep it real.